Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we have the pen box. This is the $85 plus shipping box from Mr. Dave Penn of the Pen Zone. We've opened it now for the past few months and we're gonna check out this box here today. There's a note inside from Dave that he included for me. And he let me know that the pen box for August will have some extra bonus rookie cards. He told his subscribers that he felt like maybe the July boxes ran just a little bit cold. Maybe the quality of packs just a little bit below the uh, the pen zone standard of quality. So he's making up for it by loading up the pen packs. And he wanted everybody to know that it's not just this box that's going to be loaded with an extra rookie card, but all of them. So we'll take a look at this and see what we can find in the August edition of the pen box thank you very much for watching everybody i hope that you are having a great saturday and i encourage you to please hit that uh, subscribe button we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers and when we do hit it we'll have a 100k giveaway and um mr dave penn also included a nice hefty 100k box with a lot of great cards to give away i haven't opened it up yet they're all sealed in pen packs but um he said there's some doozies in there so we'll uh, be giving those away once we get 100k all right, so inside there's a sell sheet here. Let's take a look. Now, here's what we're starting off with. This is a 2019 high number pack, and this is an awesome pack because Fernando Tatis Jr. and Vlad Jr. rookie cards could possibly come out of this pack. So that is a very, very good pack. Haven't seen those in many subscription boxes lately. Then we have a Bowman hobby pack. Next up, we've got a Topps Chrome pack from 2020. That's a hobby pack. Like those a lot. We have a Gypsy Queen, which just came out not too long ago, maybe about three weeks ago. That's in the mix. There's a Donruss 2021 pack. We've got a Bowman pack from 2021. That's a hobby pack. Then we have a 2017 Tops Update pack and a 2019 Tops Update pack as well. Those are good, good packs. As you guys probably are familiar with, 2019 has the Vlad Rookie, the Tatis Rookie debut, and a bunch of other good ones in 2019 update. There's also a One Touch, which will definitely come in handy. And then we have the Thank You Pack. Sometimes some of these um, guys that have these businesses will throw in a, a nice little thank you. And that's what Dave is doing for me. So, Dave, thank you for the Thank You Pack. And then we have the Pen Pack. This is a variety pack. It has various hits such as uh, relics, rookies, autographs, numbered cards, etc. So let's take a quick look at the sell sheet before we start breaking these packs open it says that um thanks for purchasing the pen box it comes with one pen pack i think we've already dis um you know discovered that and took a look at that um each pen box will contain eight of the hobby packs listed below and he goes on to define the hits that you can find in those pen packs on the back are all the the uh, hit odds that you can find, or at least what you can find out of each box, how many autos are per box, and so on. And he also has a monthly contest, and this month he's giving away an Ichiro card, um, a commemorative Ichiro card from 2001 Upper Deck Tribute. All right, so let's go ahead and rip some of these open. I'm going to start out with Donruss and see what we can find. 2021 Donruss. It's been a little while since we opened this product, but let's see. There's Jacob deGrom. Tyler Glass now. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. So we've got a, three guys that have been plagued by injuries this year so far. Bo Jackson, another guy that was plagued by injuries. Another guy, Luis Robert, who's been plagued by injuries this year. Mike Trout's been on the disabled list, too, for months. Jose Altuve's been healthy. And Jesus Lusardo, who busted his hand because he slammed a video game uh, controller down or something like that. But uh, So that was like the injured list pack. Jose Altuve, the only guy that I think has not made a trip to the DL this year or had major injuries in his career, a la Bo Jackson with that hip issue. So nothing crazy in pack number one. Let's move on to pack number two. I think we'll go with 2021 Bowman and see what we can find in here. Aaron Sabato is a nice prospect. He's on the back. Keston here, Buster Posey. There's Garrett Cole. And that is a good one. Key Brian Hayes, Rookie of the Year favorites. I do like that card a lot. I don't think I had that card yet. So that one will go in my Key Brian Hayes personal collection. Yulbert Sanchez first. Micah Bell, Isaiah Green. And there's the Sabato, which is a pretty decent one. So Key Brian Hayes, the best one in that pack. Still no autograph or hit yet. Let's see if we can change that. Let's do 2020 Bowman. Maybe we'll hit the Dominguez. We'll see. There's Yusei Kikuchi. 
Luis Castillo. We've got Jesus Luzardo rookie card. He's been very ineffective this year. So ineffective, the A's gave up on him and traded him to the Marlins for Sterling Marte, who I love Sterling Marte. There's Seth Brown and Shane Bieber is the last one right there. Pulled his autographed baseball out of one of those Diamond Star boxes, which is pretty awesome. All right, so let's see what else we have. I think next we'll do Gypsy Queen. Do you guys ever try to guess what pack I'm going to open next? I feel like I'm very predictable with this. All right, Joey Gallo's on the back. We've got Max Scherzer, who's now on the Dodgers on the front. Leo Tavares. There's a Ryan Jeffers, Pavin Smith, Willie Adames, and Joey Gallo. So, so far, nothing really to write home about. The key Brian Hayes for me is still the best card. I think next up, I am going to go with Topps Chrome. If you pick Topps Chrome as the next pack that I was going to open, you should give yourself a pat on the back. Let's see what we've got here. There's only four cards. Another Max Scherzer. Jesus Lusardo, rookie card once again. There's a Trevor Story refractor, a nice looking card. And a Bo Bichette rookie card. That is a good one. We'll take that one all day long. Bo Bichette just hit his 20th home run the other day. And I uh, love that card. So we will definitely be top loading that one up. All right, so that's the best card to date. Next, I am going to open up 2017. We'll see if we can find the Aaron Judge or Alex Bregman in here. It's Paul Goldspin on the back. Clayton Richard, Edinson Volquez, Jason Grilly, a couple old buckos right there, Andrew Bailey. We've got an untouchable Greg Maddox card. That is a very, very nice one right there. Tuffy Ghostwitch, Jorge Bonifacio, and there's Goldie in his Diamondbacks uniform. So nothing good in that pack, unfortunately. We're down to two packs left. I am going to go. I, I don't know. These packs are both basically... the. Similar. I'm going to go with Topps Update because the Tatis rookie card could be in high number. This pack could have a Tatis in it as well, but it'll be a rookie debut. We're looking for the Vlad rookie card. Of course, Vlad also has a short print rookie in Series 2. A lot of great rookie debut cards in this set as well. We do have a gold card coming up. It's Javi Baez, now of the Mets. There's Pete Alonso rookie card. It's the Home Run Derby rookie card of Pete Alonso. This card, I saw this at the uh, card show for a buck, so I, I don't think I picked this particular card up. I think I picked up his rookie debut, a bunch of that one for a buck. There's Chris Bryant, Kevin Pillar, Carlos Santana, Edwin Diaz, and Shelby Miller is the last one. So Pete Alonso, best card in that pack. Now we're going to try for the Tatis or the Vladdy right now. This is 2019 Heritage High Number. It is a very nice, nice, nice set. This is by far the best Heritage release of 2019. Let's see what we can find. And then we have those pen packs to check out as well. So far, it has been a stinker of a pack, and it goes down as a stinker of a pack. Nothing good in that pack. All right, so we do have the Bo Bichette rookie card on the board. That's the best card so far. And sometimes you just get completely skunked on packs. It's like um, a lottery, and uh, sometimes you get to keep your lottery card, and sometimes you don't. What I'm trying to say is with baseball cards, you at least get to keep um, the, the miss, so to speak. Now, as you saw, we opened up another uh, really high-end um, subscription box earlier this week. It was a $260 boom box. We had the exact same deal where we didn't get any hits at all. Um, but one good thing is now we're going to have this extra shot here at, um, you know, getting uh, some hits here. So this is the pen, uh, pen pack variety pack here. There's going to be baseball, football, or basketball. Let's see what we can have coming out of this one. There's a Brett Beatty on the back. These are going to be the hits. Beatty is a nice prospect with the Mets. All right, so we have Anthony Rendon. Wow, that is a nice card right there. It's three out of ten. It's one of the acetate cards. That's uh, pretty awesome right there. Those are tough to find. I honestly will do sometimes case breaks hours and hours and hours long of Topps flagship and not be able to find one of these. So that card right there is a huge hit right there. Then we have a Hank Aaron special card. This is an actual vintage card. From 1970, oh, what's the year on this one? Is it 79? I can't, I don't, I don't remember. I'm just trying to go up based off of the back. There's a Rod Crew 73. That's a good one right there. And we have a Brett Beatty autograph. How about that one? I was not expecting a Brett Beatty autograph out of Pro Debut. A very good hit right there. So love these ones. Awesome cards. Boom, boom, boom. Those are all very, very decent. I would take any of those. Um, honestly, I'd probably take the Beatty over the Bobichette rookie 
and I really like that Rod Cruz 73 as well. Let's take a look at our rookie cards. Like I said, he's going to give three rookie cards per pen pack. There's a Mount Castle, a Dylan Carlson, and a Key Brian Hayes. Arguably, no matter how you slice and dice it up, these three have to be in your top five rookies for this class. Uh, Mount Castle got off to a slow start. Carlson's been okay. Key Brian Hayes has been uh, kind of up and down, but uh, definitely in the top three rookies for me. Mount Castle, I think, leads out of these three for home runs with 19 currently. But awesome, awesome cards right there. All right, so I like those a lot. I'm going to put Key Brian Hayes on top because he's from the, the Buccos, and I have a personal collection of him going. I love getting Key Brian Hayes cards. So now we're going to finish things up. This is the thank you pack. This is a little bonus added in as a thank you for showcasing the pen packs on my channel. And let's see what it is. It is going to be a relic of Aristides Aquino. Nice piece of the pinstripe right there. And an Andrew McCutcheon relic. So cool stuff right there. Andrew McCutcheon game used 2011 All-Star Game workout jersey along with the Aquino. And there's also some rookie cards here. And I see Casey Mize leading things off, which is a very nice one from Stadium Club. There's Jordan Alvarez. Love that one as well. Spencer Torkelson first. Awesome card right there. And another Torkelson. So some awesome, awesome cards there as a thank you bonus. Dave, thank you very much for letting me um, check out your box here and sending those extra thank you cards um, as well. Really appreciate that. So once again, guys, if you'd like to check out the pen box, you can search them up on the internet his website is right there thepenbox.com so that will do it for this video i'm thinking about maybe coming back with a saturday showdown tonight so make sure you turn on your post notifications so that if and when i do go live you'll get a notification won't miss anything i thank you very much for watching i hope you guys have a great rest of your saturday and i will see you all later good night everybody